Riley in Washington. I think this is how you pronounce your name, Riley. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Riley says what they want to discuss uh, the pedophile cases coming up with Jehovah's Witness leaderships. Is that right? Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you just fine. All right. Um, yeah, and you got my name right, so don't worry about that. Cool, cool. Um, I was really interested if you have any opinion on why it seems that there are a greater number of instances of pedophilia cases in the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses compared to um, other religions, especially when you consider that in other religions a lot of the time that the uh, catch-all excuse that will be thrown out is generally along the lines of, oh, well, they're committed to celibacy. Yeah, I, I can actually speak to that. Um, I don't think that there are necessarily more cases. Um, I think that I looked at the statistics once, and statistically there are more cases of pedophilia in the Jehovah's Witness religion than in normal society. But I think that the main issue that we have to deal with is the Watchtower Society specifically instructing people not to call the police to keep things internal and make sure that the elders handle this. It's a judicial matter. It's a sin, not a crime, that kind of thing. That's that's the main issue. Uh, and that is why they've been sued for every penny that they have, because they, they allowed these pedophiles to move from congregation to congregation without reporting it to the police. And they just continued to reoffend and for every re every time they reoffended, they're paying out millions of dollars now. So, I, you know, they're kind of getting what they deserve. My only issue really is that their solution to the problem isn't to tell people to call the police, isn't to change their two witness rule. So there have to be two victims before the police are informed or anything is done at all. Uh, it's not to fix those problems. It's to put out these little cartoons for kids to say, no, don't do that. You know, that's not a, an acceptable solution to me. There has to be a systemic change before I'm happy with it. Um, you know, a lot of people say they'd like to see the Watchtower Society just destroyed. I would like that, but I'm a little bit more realistic in hoping for reform instead of destruction. Mm -hmm. so. Just to add on to that, you know, like recently, uh, I think it was the Houston Chronicler and another paper from San Antonio have been doing an investigation with the Southern Baptist Convention. Um, and there's been some cases going on there with some sexual abuse and stuff. Um, and it's easy to look at this and just say this is like a religious thing. But I think it's more along the lines of just uh, a power thing. Um, and an unchecked authority kind of thing. And that this can happen in any kind of organization that has similar kinds of structures that aren't as regulated uh, judicially, you know, outside of the members of the organization. What goes on in these kind of Watchtower Society meetings stays in those Watchtower Society meetings, it seems like. You know, like uh, they publish out what they want to publish out. Um, and when you don't have those checks and balances, like you said, I think that's where cases like this happen. I don't know if people who are more inclined to, um, you know, do terrible things with younger kids um, flock to these kinds of religious organizations because they see that unchecked power. And so they're more likely to do it or if it's just a case of something else. Uh, but it seems like that's what it is to me. It's it's an exposure uh, uh not exposure, but an exploitation, if you will, of kind of the, the flaws in these kinds of systems that don't go uh, checked by people. Yeah, that's uh, okay, that's so, definitely a problem. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, you're perfectly fine. So uh, would you, is it safe to assume that you'd say that it's somewhat symptomatic of the uh, extremely patriarchal uh, system they've set up where every man is the absolute be-all, end-all power of his household, where um, that power could be somewhat going to their heads? I've been thinking about that. Uh, there are a number of possible reasons, and I'm having trouble landing on a solid reason. I have a feeling that it's a mix of a lot of stuff, that being one of it, uh, being, I'm sorry, that being one of the, the, the causes. I'm probably going to you know, that's a good point. I may end up putting something out about that. I'm going to have to think about my ideas on that a little bit more. But it's like, 
I don't know. It's just a really complicated thing. I'm going to have to think on it more. I'm sorry. It's a complicated <laughs> issue. And I, I think yeah. it's, again, it's worthy to point out that this doesn't just happen with Jehovah's Witnesses. It happens with lots and lots of these kinds of organizations. Right. And um, there's still a lot we don't know. There's still a lot we don't know. And, of course, there's more and more cases of this stuff coming out each year. My hope, of course, is that more of these cases do come to light and hopefully yeah. the public at large sees these things and maybe some action will rise there, but who knows? It doesn't happen until we have conversations like this. And by the way, even if I was a Jehovah's Witness or if I was a Christian or any, any other kind of thing, I, I would want to have these conversations personally. I would feel a personal responsibility to hold people in these powers of, you know, um, accountable for their actions. But hope, hopefully other people who are in religious faiths and who watch the show also feel the same way. So... Interesting topic, Riley. Interesting topic. Do you have anything else you wanted to say before we uh, let you go here? Uh, no, I really appreciate me. I really appreciate you guys having me on. I'm glad we could have this discussion. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you brought up a great question, and I hope to hear from you again soon. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Take care. Man, yeah, it just – it makes me sad. It makes me sad talking about yeah. this stuff, honestly. It's heartbreaking. Um he did make a good point, though. Um, what is the reason? Is it? Is it, it? It's at least partly the whole patriarchal system that they have set up, right? Uh, I, I'm really going to have to think on this and figure out why it is that these groups seem to have a disproportionate amount of child abuse in them like that. It's I don't access know. too. You know, it's access to mm -hmm. like like it's the reason why. You know, there's a lot of teachers that have these kinds of problems. It's the reason why a lot of uh, people who, I mean, like if you're working at a summer camp, it's more likely to happen. You know, like I remember when I worked at summer camps, it was um, a heavy topic that we had to talk about and, and we had to, um, yeah. you know, set up systems to prepare for. Um, I think to me, it's just people who want power over people and who will do anything to get that power kind of, go towards gravitate these toward that things that's what that's my thing i could be wrong about that but that's the explanation that makes the most sense to me you know yeah 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 i'm with you on that i i wish we had more information like and more scientific data it's so hard to get information on that kind of thing but yeah i i think i agree with you <laughs>